guys, here's a quick flight video of my new DJI Phantom. So pretty much I have the GoPro 3 Black on here, you can see. Instead of using the original uh, mount that came with the DJI, I'm using the GoPro mount, or the GoPro case with the original mount. You can see it fits right up in there, so very cool. Battery's plugged in. Let me show you guys uh, how this Phantom flies. So different ways to arm it. You can pretty much arm it by going this way, this way, this way, or this way. Make sure everything's full down, but read the manual on how to arm it. So let me arm it, give, a, give more than 10% throttle because if not, the motors will cut off as a safety feature. When you take off, just make sure you take right off. Don't give a little bit of throttle and slide, or, slide on the ground because it will tip over on you. You can see it's a little windy today, but I'm going to keep it below this uh, fence line because there's not that much wind to affect it. So we put it into altitude mode right over here, 50% throttle. Hands off, that's pretty cool. GPS will not work right now because I'm being surrounded by my house and the concrete wall over here. You can see the lights look very nice. And with the extra weight of the GoPro and the GoPro case, it's not that bad, you know, you still have enough punch out. I'm not going to do a full punch out because uh, I have a tree right above me, so got to watch your surroundings. Just some little, you know, blurbs of throttle. You can see plenty. Enough for nice camera footage or aerial footage the red light looks very nice the way DJI puts the light glowing underneath the arms it shines off of the legs so when you're flying it it doesn't matter which way you're at you can see red and green so that's very nice for visual orientation flies very smooth this is bone stock out of the box I never did any adjustments to the settings or anything like that no calibrations to the GPS, which I probably have to do because the LED on the back of the Phantom is blinking red and yellow or red and orange. So that's an indicator of a compass, you know, some kind of interference. Probably because the GoPro underneath is probably causing some interference. You can see it's very stable, very easy to fly. This is going to be a perfect platform for anybody who wants a nice stable platform to get aerial shots. The best thing, it's ready to fly right out of the box. You, you don't even have to hook it up to the NASA assistant or, or the Phantom assistant on the computer to make any adjustments. It's ready to go out of the box once again. Very easy. So you can see... You put into 50% throttle to hold the altitude. Hands off right now. It does drift off because whatever way the wind's going to blow it, it's going to slide when you're in altitude mode or altitude hold mode. Doing some puros. Not bad. Oh, there you go. It's no longer... Uh, up. It was... The light didn't, wasn't blinking yellow and red, but it is now again. Quite a concrete wall that's affecting it and all these trees around with, the, with my uh, condenser for the AC over here. It's probably causing some kind of magnetic interference. Very cool. It's very easy to fly. I'm, you know, my sticks right now, I'm barely moving the sticks, you know. The stock radio actually feels and it works very nice. You can see. Just peering it along the wall over here. This is pretty fucking just peer all day long. Off the stick, you can see how nice the Phantom is. The lights add a very cool factor, so when you're flying at night, this thing is going to be very, very easy to see in, you know, in the sky, no matter how far you're at. Actually, if you fly too far, you actually can't really tell where it's at, but the good thing is if you kind of, you know, lose it, just let go of the sticks and it will self-love itself, and when you're in a good, nice area with no interference, you can put it into GPS mode, and it will hold that one position, which is very nice. Doing some little pyros right here. So easy, I could do curls all day long. So let me uh, bring it back for a landing in this video. 
arm or if you go you know below 10 percent throttle motors will cut off by itself as a auto land or safety feature so yeah that was a quick video to show you guys how you know how the phantom flies to give you guys an idea of how easy it is to fly once i get more time i'll bring into a bigger area to give you guys a uh better video footage so you guys can see how it actually performs how aggressive i could fly it and also I'll be uh, uploading some GoPro videos so you guys can see how uh, nice the onboard footage is. I'm not really sure until I actually get some recordings, but it, it looks very stable. It looks stable enough, and I'm not sure if the props need to be balanced or not, but I'm going to get some footage for you guys in a future video. So stay tuned, guys. Look, uh, you know, Keep up to date with the next videos, and thanks for watching, guys.